know what? We're getting some gimmicks here. Rainbow gimmick. Um, all Pokemon have a random move for places with 1 out of 10% chance to raise all of the user's stats. This could be interesting. What an, what an, what an odd move that is. Yeah, well, on the on the blue team, we've got Nuzleaf, Silcoon, and Dustock. And on the red team, Mawile, Chinchou, and Vaporeon. Wow, it looks like Nuzleaf's got Silverwind, Silcoon with Ancient Power, and Dustock's also Ancient Power. What a shame, the two bulk types don't get Silverwind. Mm, it's a shame, but yeah. I don't know. Rock type coverage is, well, it doesn't help on this battle. No, and, and they're not going to be getting that any that back anytime soon. It does have Mawile a lot, though. Yeah. Oh no! In fact, that Mawile, that Mawile is sad. Yeah. It's got like it's got super effective cover week on that Nose Leaf with Silver Wind over there. With this sort of Nose Leaf and Silken and Dust Off with the tags for that matter. Yeah. No, this looks. This looks like a very safe match for the red team, I feel. Well, best of luck to the blue team if they can figure out a way to win. Yeah, they definitely need to find a way past that mall while. Hmm. I mean, switching is allowed in this match, so try to use that to your advantage. Yeah. seconds left get those bets in if you want to get in on this match Match has started now. We getting into the we getting into the magma coliseum. And um, Pokemon too many music. I had to try to forget. Anyway, moving along, the uh, Nosley moves it wants to use are pretty split. Starting off with energy ball. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage on Mawile, and Mawile's gonna hit back really hard with a silver wind right here. Yeah, four times damage right off the bat. Doesn't actually one hit KO, but it gets the stat boost. First turn rainbow on the rainbow match, you know, that that might be GG for, for the blue team already. Uh oh, looks like the blue team's gonna switch out right up maybe preserve no sleep, you think? Well, we're going into Dustock. Dustocks can pretty helpfully take a silver win. Oh yeah, easily. Even plus one. Long while special attack is not good at all. No. Well, I mean, it's now got plus one attack to, to a max attack set. Going for the body slam. And plus one speed. Yeah, I don't think that speed will matter though. Oh, special defense has been negated, so back to neutral on the special defense. Marwell's gonna hit again with Body Slam, it's gonna take out this Dust Tox here. Yeah, we're going to say I think the Dust Tox may have been their best shot at taking down the Marwell. It may not have been able to attack it very well, but it could time at least the Silver win.
Anyway, we're coming back to no sleep now. So we win again. Easily gonna take out no sleep. Are we gonna get to see another rainbow though? It doesn't look like it. What a shame. Well, in comes Silcoon, ready for its imminent death at the hands of Marwile here. No, no, no. Silcoon does have sweet kiss, so maybe it can get Marwile to self-destruct itself. It's got potential. Well, I mean, they're not going to be able to live another attack, and they're paralyzed. So even if they did, they have a chance of not actually landing it. And they go for Mega Horror, which deals practically no damage. Pretty paltry damage right there. I mean, at least they got it under half. It's the thought that counts. Yeah, they got halfway on the first Pokemon. I, I commend you, Blue Team. You cry. If they had nine more Pokemon, this would have been an even match. <laughs> nine more of the same Pokemon? Yeah, with the exact same sets. Well, congratulations to the red team. Enjoy your 12% payout. Unfortunately for blue team, it was just kind of a match stacked against their favor. Yeah, no, blue team hasn't been getting very lucky recently. I've noticed that. They have lost two in a row, at least uh, to my knowledge. Anyway, let's look what's coming up next. We're getting some more gimmicks coming in. We uh -oh. have a traitor map. A, a traitor. But both sides have a Pokemon that doesn't actually belong to their team. It belongs to the other side's team. A TR8R. So on the blue team, we may or may not have Piplup, Hippowdon, and Jolteon. And on the red team, it says there's Gligar, Riolu, and Tyrogue, but who actually knows? Yeah, this is a very interesting set of Pokemon. Honestly, like, hmm. What would be very unfortunate for the red team, at least, is if Jolteon and Gligar were switched. Or like Piplup and um Wait no, if Piplup and Gligar were switched, um getting my words mixed up. Yeah, Goltion and Gligar would just be unfortunate for the Yeah, it'd still be unfortunate for the red team. Yeah, because switching is off in this match, so the order is uh Fixed. huge. Yeah. If the order's fixed and there's not a lot of maneuverability. Goltion even if Galtion doesn't get ganked over, it pretty much can only do facade to the alleged Gligar. Or maybe Hippowdon if that gets brought in. Honestly, I think this might all depend on the placement of either Piplup or Galtion. I think, at least for the re yeah, I think it really depends on where Gligar is going to be. Oh yeah, actually, now that you mention it, yeah. Well, wherever Gligar ends up, that will make or break the map. Because if Gligar stays on red, they've got a pretty heavy advantage right off the bat. Well, if Gligar switches with anything, that gives Blue Team a pretty heavy advantage. Well, maybe not Hippowdon, actually. Yeah. Because the red team has like some really strong... Uh, strong three... but frail Pokemon, but Gligar's just kind of bulky in that regard. I was about to call Riolu a, a wall breaker, and I don't think that's very fair. Tyrogue is definitely a wall breaker, though. It's got yeah. guts and Toxic Orb. Yeah, and uh, we've got about like uh, 15 seconds left, so get those bets in.
boxing club too. I think I'm going to go watch some Megalo box after this. Uh, oh. Kusanza! I thought that'd be very bad for the blue team. Gligar and Hippowd on Switch starting the battle now. But, Gligar and Switch with Hippowd on, so... I think that can get the whole lot, honestly. Yeah. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hmm. Going for the tickle off the bat. That's a pretty good move. Attack and defense are gonna fall. Earthquake, this might one hit, because Gokion isn't very well defensive. No, hands on. The tickle is definitely playing a part in that. Yeah, that's why it was so great. And Hippowdon is like super strong. It's super defensive, physically. Yeah, so Gokion isn't gonna be able to do a whole lot. Really bad play from the blue team going for Nick. Earthquake does double damage when you're underground. Remember that for next time, that can make or break a game. Yeah, that was that was unfortunate. Okay, so here's a, here's an interesting thing. Blue team has Gligar now. Gligar has Sandvale. Yes. Which means it's gonna get a permanent evasion raid for the remainder of the battle. And Rockside is already pretty inaccurate. It's the only move that I've ever gone hit with. It is gonna connect. The unfortunate part is Glygar's pretty physically defensive and faster than Hippowder, meaning we're not gonna see any flinches. So this could actually be a pretty big turnaround depending on what Hippowder does. Yeah. I think this was, this was probably the most, like, even balanced switch for these Pokemon. Hmm. They both work really well in this. Well, down goes Hippowdon. So now it's just down to the two fighting types. They're gonna have their fighting moves. Not as strong due to Gligar's flying type, and they can even connect them. I'm just unsure about how the Tyro is gonna fare, honestly. Riolu taking a pretty heavy amount of damage. It's gonna heal some of it up with the Sacred Fairy. Going for the corn. How much damage is it gonna do? Is it gonna get the defense swap even? Those are decent stuff. Man, this Gligar just won't go down. I mean, it's a Gligar that I'm pretty well known for their defense stuff. Yeah. Now imagine if Eviolite was in this game. Oh goodness, that would be a very big boon to Gligar. Well, we all is going down here. Well, we got Tyro coming out. It's gonna go for the fake out. So that is a guaranteed flint. What is good though, Tyro will now trigger the Toxic Orb, which will power up Gorts, meaning the bullet point can well be stronger coming in. Not sure if it's gonna be enough to take down Gligar though. Let's see, Tyro goes for a bullet punch. No, nowhere close. That's gonna require like one, another two hit, if it, even if it survives this. It survives! For, that, for the red team, it's gonna need to be a little more desperate. They're gonna have to hope for a crit, I feel. If the poison damage doesn't take them out anyway. Well, let's see, Bullet Punch is gonna connect again, and it's on to take out Gligar! Oh, high damage wall, I presume. But, here's a question, is it going to have enough to last another turn? 
I think the poison damage might actually take it out here. Yep. Yep, there it goes. Hard fought battle, but Blue King pulls it off thanks to the traitor. And imagine this. Sandvale didn't even matter. It never activated. No, Sandvale literally didn't matter. So literally this was one of the best possible outcomes apart from a crit for the red team. Yeah. No one's fault really. It's just RNG, I guess. Yeah, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Good game to the blue team. Red team, good fight.